this is just a quick video um, to review my 20,000 external battery um, power bank. Um, I have received it with a little discount and I'm very happy I actually bought it. Um, I've tested it for a couple of weeks before doing the review and I've read the 112 super questions so I'm going to try and you know help you um, with a quick video see if I can answer most of them. Okay, when you first receive it, it will have 98%, 99% of battery. To turn it on, you simply press, press the side button and the battery charge. It's displayed. If you press 3 seconds, a little light will turn on. You press 3 seconds, the light turns off. You receive the power bank, you receive a little bag to keep everything tidy and a 1 meter charging cable. Now, to charge the power bank itself, you simply plug the charging cable that comes with it on the side and then use a common 2.1 amps charger plug. I use my Samsung and straight onto the wall plug. It can take up to 13 hours, mine took 13 hours to charge. Um, I would say as a personal tip, do not charge it for fun. This is a battery and with all batteries, the more you charge them, the less battery life they're going to have. So it's always recommended you leave the battery to fully drain. Once it's fully drained, you fully charge. You fully drain it again, you fully charge. And that way you're simply going to make this um, power bank last longer. Also, there is a limited number of times. I know it's something ridiculous like 10,000 or something like that, but that power banks can actually get charged. So if you charge it for fun, it's just simply going to last you less. Now, what can you charge with it? You can charge everything. Any device that has, that any device that came from its manufacturer with a USB charging cable. So, I can charge my Samsung Galaxy phone charging I can even charge my ECG straight away it picks up the battery and it starts charging even I've got here my Fitbit HR you simply use the cable that came with a device and, oops. the good thing you have two USB entries so you can be charging see, straight away it's charging you can be charging two devices at once so let's say my GoPro remote came with the USB cable there you go, straight away it picks up that it's the power bank's been plugged and it just starts charging. Same with your GoPro, even though I have my spare batteries, let's say you go somewhere, batteries are finished, you're on a weekend camp, all your batteries have gone, you need it charging, you've got your power bank there, you simply use the cable that came with your device and straight into the power bank and it gets picked up. It's very straightforward. Uh, you can use it for portable speakers, Kindles, tablets, dash cams, iPods and iPhones. As long as you use their own charging cable, you, you can also charge them. Um, it's great to have two USB entries. Also, when the device is fully charged, the power bank will switch off, so it's not going to overheat your device which is also helpful to, to know. Uh, you must know that it's not compatible with Qualcomm Quick Charge, so don't plug your power bank into, into a Qualcomm Quick Charge because it's not Quick Charge enabled, so it's simply not going to charge any quicker. How fast does it charge? Um, well, the output of the power bank is actually 5 volts and 2.1 amps, so that gives you 10.5 watts of charging power. A normal charger, um, 
and a normal wireless charger normally has 10 watts. It's the common, um, the most common, the standard charging power. If you use a fast charge, yes, you can charge fast charge with 15 watts. But this will, this little device, well, not so little, <laughs> will actually give you a standard charging um, power, which is good. Um, what you also need to know, you are that there should be no problems with travelling with it on a plane. Um, I've worked for Ryanair in the past and I've had no issues. It's just like if you were taking a spare battery for your laptop. Um, but just double check with your airline, just you know, airline, just to make sure. I would highly recommend this device. Well, I must say that you should know is that it's not pocketable. Obviously, because it's got such a big battery. As you can see, so you can imagine, this is a 7 S7 Edge. It's a bit shorter lengthwise, but if we turn it around, it's a lot wider. So I would not say you know, it's big. Look, um, it's also heavy. It's 458, 460 grams approximately. It's not, it's not a battery power bank that you're going to take inside your pocket, but you can take it inside the backpack. You can take it for your travels. And it's one of the biggest uh, portable battery power banks you can actually get. Mine's worked fine. I've took it on a camping trip. It's great. I would highly recommend. And um, I do really hope my review has been helpful to you. And if you have any questions, just click on comment below. And if I can, I'll happily answer them for you. Thanks for watching.